can't believe how my topic yesterday about the surgeons taking advantage of people ties in to today's subject, which was guys that think that they just want to they just want to stick it in. Just want to stick my dick in there, and I was like, "What?" But anyway, look, the incels—they're just desperate to stick their dick in there. And it's like, look, man, there's there is anyway. But let's not go down the incel road. There are plenty of female um, adults that would have sex with any incel, honestly. So I don't know what their problem is. They claim that they're involuntarily celibate. Like, are you or are you not? Like, I don't get it. Oh, well, she's too ugly to stick my dick in, or then you're not an incel. An incel is supposed to be involuntarily celibate. Like, you're desperate to have sex and no one's going to do it with you. Bullshit. All right. That subject is over with. But look, the whole Karen thing. Like, we all are really sick of entitled people, whether they are male or female. But for some reason, it just seems a little more annoying when it's a female for some reason. I don't know what it is. So we're, we're I mean, you know, I can see where everybody's like, yeah, well, it's just a Karen. You know, it's a Karen. It was supposed to be like a really small definition of like an entitled asshole that sucks the joy out of the room when she walks in and demands to speak to the manager and all. It's just all this bullshit. And we're like, yeah, what a bitch. Let's just call them Karens. Well, the problem with that was that didn't stay the small definition. It turned into any woman you didn't like for any reason whatsoever. That, and it also turned into women of strength that wanted to stand their ground for their own personal rights. Now, she's a bitch, too. She's a Karen, too. So it's like, wow. Well, what's real? What's going to happen by the end of the year? My prediction is that every female living on the surface of Earth will be considered a Karen by virtue of the fact that they don't have that little dangly thing between their legs. They ain't got the dick ball set, I used to call it. They ain't got a dick ball set. I used to talk about, you know, if I could just, when I would like to go somewhere, like a garage or an auto parts store, and just talk to the guy behind the counter, like, I need this part. But it, they talk to you like you're the biggest fucking idiot on earth. I might be looking for brake pads. Or I might need a little, can you just hand me that? Look, I thought about just getting a dildo to carry with me and just slam it on the fucking counter and just say, here's my dick. Now can we talk about this man shit or whatever it is you think is. Just can we just, here's my dick. Please treat me with respect. Do I need to wear it around my fucking neck? I don't know. And I'm not super sexist in any way. And I'm, I don't run around bitching and moaning. because I just, I'm talking about my own, because I am very accommodating. I accommodate everyone around me constantly in every way. I'm not the Karen that runs into a restaurant demanding to get the best seat in the house. And, oh, why isn't my food here immediately? And that's not me. But I'm sick of being treated as if I am doing that when I'm not. Hence the dildo that I wanted to slam on the counter of any man that I want to talk about a man thing. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm bringing all that up. It all ties together. The whole incel, the whole guys thinking like, she was a narcissist, man. I, I, she was really nice until I stuck my dick in her. Some guy comments on one of Daphne's videos, and I thought, so she was nice until the second you stuck your dick in her. Maybe you did it wrong. Maybe you didn't. Maybe. <laughs> You're, maybe all women are not wrong 100% of the time. Do you ever think about that? We might not be. It all ties together. And I think what's going to happen by the end of the year with all, every woman, every female ever born being considered a Karen by that time, do you know how much the demand for sex change operations are going to go through the roof? Women don't even want to be women anymore because we are treated like absolute fucking trash. And I'm not talking about it from a SJW point of view. I'm not a social justice warrior. I'm not. I don't give a fuck what's going on in society. I would just like to walk into an auto parts store and, um, you know, get an auto part without being treated like I'm a fucking idiot or I'm a fucking problem. Like you're there to sell me the part. Can you just get the fucking part for me, please? Don't, don't tell me. I don't know what I'm talking about. If I say I want the, I went into an auto parts store and I said, look, I need conventional oil. I don't, all you've got over here is synthetic. The guy insisted 
that it was identical. I said, it is not. It literally is not. It is not. And that's the day I thought, man, if I just had a dildo, I could flop it on the counter and say, does this, di here's my dick. That is not conventional oil. I need conventional oil. Is it, why, why am I a fucking Karen for stating in an auto parts store, hey, I need conventional oil. This is synthetic. I can't use this. Or I would prefer not to use this. I'm considered an entitled fucking bitch because of that. But if a guy would walk in and say that, oh, sure, sure, whatever, right? Which is why I don't shop anymore. I don't do anything anymore. I stay home. Lenny does it all because the world treats his wife like she's an idiot and a bitch and like she's uh, interfering, like I woke them up from a fucking nap on their day off. You're at work. <laughs> Look, the demand for dick transplants is going to go up. So I think we should all go to my playlist called like, you know, transgendered ideas or whatever I labeled it so we can get the dick tits exchange and get your registry going so that people can like sign up and figure out for their tissue matches and all like who matches and who matches and we can sign these surgeons up so they can start flipping them around because there's going to be a whole bunch of women that want dick sewed onto their uh, crotch areas because if not they're going to be called Karen and we can't have that. <laughs>